What's going on guys? My name is Cal, Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your videos look more like uh, traditional film, uh, like a movie. Um, and you're going to be using the letterbox technique to do this. Uh, the letterbox, for those of you who don't know, uh, essentially normal film when you shoot on your iPhone or a DSLR camera is shot in the aspect ratio of 16 to 9. However, uh, traditional film is shot uh, in the aspect ratio or edited to the aspect ratio of 2.35 to 1 otherwise known as the letterbox uh, effect, and it looks something like this. You can see here the uh, the top bars, uh, the black bars at the top and the bottom of the image, make it look like a film. Um, so if we take this image here, this is just an image of a ladybug that I shot, um, you can see it fills up the entire frame and it looks really good, but it doesn't look like a movie. Now if we add this effect to it, you can already see that it looks more like a movie. Uh, just for whatever reason, our brains have just been trained to see this as a film. So uh, to get this effect, we're going to be doing something called, or installing something called Alex 4D widescreen. Um, now, there's a lot of other techniques out there. The most common one is downloading an image of the black bars and superimposing it over your film. I would not recommend this technique simply because it will soften the corners of your image um, and it actually affects your picture quality, whereas this technique, installing this effect, will not. So this is the, probably the best way to do it. Um, so to start off, you're going to want to download the file or the folder. Um, I'll have a link in the description. It will be labeled download. Uh, and then basically just go to this website, blog.alex4d.com, and then scroll down until you see installation. And it says download this disk image. Go ahead and click on that. It will then uh, download the, uh, the image there. So you can go ahead and open that up. And then you should get a couple different options. You see I already have one open. Um, I'll just go ahead and drag this over here. So this is the folder you're going to want to be using. None of this stuff matters. So go ahead and drag that onto your desktop uh, someplace that you can see it. And I'll go ahead and actually subtract uh, Final Cut Pro just so you can see. Um, so here we have the letterbox folder. Um, now what you're going to want to do is go to a new finder window and type in the word movies. Oh, sorry. That's not how you spell movies. What am I doing? Um, go ahead and type in movies, make sure you're on this Mac, and then scroll down until you see a movie folder, and you should see a little uh, little image within the folder, so that's how you know it is. You can see there's little gray dots there, um, as opposed to these movie folders, which are completely uh, solid blue. Once you do that, go to motion templates, and then go to titles. Now, under titles, this is where you're going to be dropping the folder. You see I've already done it. Um, but if you don't have the motion templates uh, folder, that's okay. All you have to do is uh, just copy these these folders, basically just create the folders as you see them here, and you should be good to go. You don't have to uh, install anything else. All you have to do is go to motion templates, add a folder called titles, and then uh, drag the Alex 40 letterbox into um, the uh, that folder. Um, now, it is important to note that within titles, there's another folder called Alex 4D, and then within the Alex 4D, that's where you place the folder that you downloaded, uh, just to make that clear, because it's a little bit confusing. Uh, I had to try it a couple times, so if you don't get it right away, uh, just try it again, and I'm pretty sure that it'll work, because uh, it did for me, and I had no idea how to do that when I originally did it. So, once you do that, you have to restart your Final Cut Pro, and then go to uh, your Titles section, uh, so you'll see the clips here. Go to the uh, the big T there, and then you should see a, a little tab called Alex 4D. Go ahead and click on that, and then you should see the effect right here. And then you'll be able to add that to the clip that you want, and then just simply drag it over all the clips that you want to make a letterbox. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is how to add the letterbox effect to your films in Final Cut Pro X. Uh, that was a little bit confusing process because you have to add folders to uh, to the system and all that. So if you do have any questions, feel free to leave those in the description, um, or sorry, in the comments section, and hopefully either I or someone else will be able to help you out. Uh, other than that, guys, hope you guys have a great day, and see you guys later.